Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. Here's what's making news now. Crews have battled an early morning fire in Scott County. That fire broke out at 4 this morning at a mobile home off of Burton Pike. Crews arrived to find the back door open and the home engulfed in flames. That fire started in the center of the home, and the man who lives there was at work at the time. A cause is under investigation, and investigators say that it does appear suspicious. A police officer is injured during an overnight arrest near downtown Lexington. Police say 41-year-old Michael Ray Williams is behind bars accused of resisting arrest, fleeing, and assault. Police say Williams fought with the officer when he was trying to make an arrest on 5th Street. That officer was taken to Central Baptist Hospital, and he has since been released. Police search for a suspect after a crash in North Lexington overnight. It happened just before midnight at 7th and North Upper Streets. Police responded to reports of a car hitting a utility pole. When they got there, the three people inside that car ran off. Police were able to catch up with two of the people, and the other one got away. No one was seriously injured. Police say it turns out that the car was a stolen one that they were looking for earlier in the evening. Well, more information after a woman is stabbed to death outside her Lexington home. Detective Robert Wilson testified yesterday about the death of Lisa Carr. He quoted witnesses who said they saw Carr being stabbed. One said that she called out, call the police, he's killing me. Police said they found an 8-inch steak knife near the scene on Aurora Avenue. Roderick Blinko is now accused of that murder. Police say they followed a trail of blood to a nearby church and arrested him there. The number one Gators are next on UK's schedule, but Florida's players may be fighting more than just the Cats this week. Several Gators took the field against Tennessee last Saturday with temperatures, and teams across the country are dealing with massive flu outbreaks. Head coach Rich Brooks says his Cats are washing their hands more often, but experts say the gridiron is a perfect place to pass more than just spirals. You're trading uh, secretions, whether it's spit, whether it's sweat, whether it's anything else, that uh, they're in close quarters, they get spread, and you're going to get disease spread that way. Dr. Stanton also says the swine flu appears not only less severe than other strains, but less contagious as well. Lexington police pause to honor their own. ABC 36 was there for the sixth annual police awards banquet last night at the Lexington Convention Center. Dozens of officers and police civilian employees were honored for bravery and work performance. That's all the time we have. Have a great day.